Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I want to show how best to use Zoho CRM from a salesperson's perspective. So we've talked a lot on this channel about admin settings, and setting up your CRM, but we get a lot of questions from salespeople like, how do I get in there and get my feet wet? And so today I'm gonna go over three things. Number one, where in the CRM you should spend the majority of your time. So that's the deal or the opportunity module and how to look at your deals and find them. Number two, I'm gonna go into when you actually get into a deal, how you should interact with it, some of the key fields you should keep track of and write notes in and things like that. Then number three is how best to follow up on deals and create some to-do items. So that'll be the tasks and activities. So those three things, if you utilize them really well, you'll get to trust the CRM and use it as your daily to-do list and your daily sales board. Please like, comment, subscribe on this video. We love comments. We love responding to them. We love interaction and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Cheers. All right, so let's jump into this. Remember, in this video, we're talking a lot about from a salesperson's perspective, right? So this won't focus on admin settings or setting things up. This will focus more on how to use it, everyday use in order to get more sales. So the first and foremost thing I recommend to all salespeople is when they hop into their CRM, the module they should be focusing most of their time on is the deal module. So in your Zoho, it might be called opportunities or potentials, depending on when you bought Zoho, but traditionally it's called deals these days. And so this deal module may look something like this. So number one, you're gonna have some stages along the top. Now these stages are basically, think of it as the stage of a transaction. So yours might be different. I have separate videos on how to customize those stages to your liking, but these stages are extremely important. So when I look at these stages, you can see there are a few deals in each of them. And there's a few ways to put new deals into each of them. So number one is you can simply hit create deal right here, and this will bring you into the process of creating a deal. Number two is you can create deal up here. So there's two ways to create a deal. There isn't really a right answer on the best way to do it. What I typically tell people to do is to actually create a deal from here. So you go into the deal module by clicking this, and then you actually create a deal with the blue button. That just makes more sense to me. It doesn't have to for you. You can start here. It doesn't really matter. So couple things to customize to your liking. Number one, all deals might be overwhelming. There might be a lot in here, right? So I recommend to salespeople to always use this here, which is called a view. And these views can be customized, but Zoho gives you some that are really good out of box. So you can go ahead and hit my deals. And now you as a salesperson, if you're the owner of the deal, it will only show yours. So it declutters your dashboard, right? And so you don't have to see gyms or mics or all the other salespeople, you just see yours, which is really handy. You also have some other ones here, closing this month and closing next month, new this week, new last week. There's a bunch of different ones you can use, but you can also create your own right? And so just by hitting new custom view, you could create one that, for example, my deals this month. And I go into it in further detail in other videos, but just to show you quickly, you can then use this criteria editor to then give this view some criteria. So for example, you could say closing date is this month, so current month, and the owner is me. So in this example, I'll do Tom demo. And so now when you actually hit save, this will actually just show all the deals that are owned by you in this month, right? And so in this example, it, it didn't actually work. However, if you're doing it in your system, it would show all of your deals. So I'm gonna go back to all deals. So now we're in all deals, right? Customizing your view is very important. You can also customize how things are sorted. So you may say, well, I want things to sort by the closing date and I want it to be descending. Right? So it's gonna put the closing date in a certain order. So you can tell the system how to sort your columns and it will sort accordingly in each of these columns. So that's a really good personalization tip that I tell a lot of salespeople to use. The last thing you can use on this page is this filter. So these filters, probably the most common ones I tell people to use are these ones. So you may lose track of the last time you actually followed up with one of these deals, right? And so you can use this here and you could say, show me all the untouched records by the user and the system or just the user. So what this means is, is it untouched by me and the CRM, for example, did an automated email go out or whatever? Or if you're just saying, show me all the deals that I, the user have not touched. So you could say by the user in the last two days and you can hit apply. So it should show all of them because this is a demo system, but you get the idea here where you could say, okay, I don't remember who I reached out to. 
So show me all the ones I haven't touched. So you would do user in the last two days, seven days, seven months, whatever. You have some options here. You say days, weeks, months. And so when you actually do that, it'll shrink it and then you can interact with these deals. So that's the second thing I wanna talk about in this video. How do you interact with them? So number one, you can move these around. Right? And so just by dragging, I'm just clicking and dragging, I can move them. And so I'd encourage you in meetings or just in general to click and drag these to their appropriate stage. And a lot of people like doing that from the Kanban board, as you see it here. Number two, you can actually create what are called activities, right? And so this was part of, uh, in my intro that I mentioned to interact with this deal, you can simply hover over them and say, okay, well, I haven't talked to this one in a while, so let's create a follow-up task. And so by hitting this plus, you can create a task on the fly to follow up with this. So if I hit new task, I could say follow up with account. I could put a due date. So I can say when I want to follow up with them. So I'll say next Friday. And one of the cool things with this task is I can also tell it to remind me. And so I find this helpful when you're writing a proposal or doing something like that, where you can actually tell it to remind you, for example, the day before at 9 a.m. via email to do this. So what Zoho will now do is shoot you an email a day before this task is actually due, reminding you of it. So that's a really handy feature. And when I hit save now, you'll see that a little box is created here. And so you can quickly see which you have follow-up tasks for. And the box will be green if it's due in the future, yellow if it's due today, and red if you forgot to do it. So as you start creating these tasks, you can focus on the cards that have a certain color. And that will be handy for you to know which ones you should or should not follow up with immediately. Now let's go into the deal. Right? And so let's say I go into this deal. What I always tell people to do is kind of walk before they run with these deals. So some key information that you should have in your deal is a closing date, right? And so this closing date actually allows you, it depends on your business, but it will actually allow you to say, okay, when uh, do I think this deal will produce some money or the contract will be signed? In our business, it's, the closing date is the day the contract will be signed. Right? So we try to forecast that. And so this will be really important as a salesperson because your sales manager, or if you are a manager, you're gonna be looking at this closing date because it's the best guess of some revenue coming in, right? So make sure you have a closing date, make sure you're keeping track of that. Number two, make sure you're keeping track of the amount, right? And so this amount can change, obviously as a salesperson, you can change this and say, oh, it's actually going up now or whatever. The last thing to keep track of is obviously the stage. So as you saw here, the stage that's here is also the exact same stage that is here, right? So you can move this stage accordingly and this will move it in the pipeline. Focus on the pipeline, keeping that up to date. When you go into the deal, keep the amount and the closing date up to date. You might have other information you wanna fill out and I have other videos on how to customize that, but this is kind of of the walk before you run scenario. The last thing I tell people to do all the time is to write notes. Anytime you call this person or this deal, write a note here. You can simply do that by clicking notes, it'll scroll you down and then you have a couple options. So I typically write a title, you don't have to, but I'll say like follow up call, for example, and I'll write the note in here and say, talk to, to Massimo and looks like he wants to move forward. You can also tag your colleagues if you'd like. So you could go at, then type their name and tag them. And that is a feature used if you want to collaborate. Now I'll hit save. And now I have this note here, right? And so now you've created this note, you're creating a bit of a history on the deal. The last part I'll just mention is you should close these tasks, right? And so as these tasks come due, so for example, let's say we're at the 11th of February, we get the reminder, open up this deal when you have that reminder, then further open up this task. When you're in the task here, write some notes about what you're doing. So I have this task open, I get on the call with them, right? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, they pick up. Okay, so let's write some notes. He wants to move forward. So you can see here that it brings up all of the notes that we've ever written. I can write a new note here, and then further, I can close this task. And when you do, it gives you the option to add a follow-up task, which you may wanna do if you got a voicemail or if he or she said to call you in the future. So now if I go back to this deal, you'll see I have two notes. One's related to the deal, one's related to the task, and I've got a closed activity. So that just rinse and repeat. And so go to this deal page, have your deals, take a look at them, maybe create a follow-up task or hop into the deal, get them on the phone, write a note, go back to the deals, etc. So keeping the closing date, the amount, and the notes up to date is a really good way to get comfortable with the system, a really good way to trust it more. And in other videos I have, I talk about automating things, but for now, from a salesperson's perspective, use it like this and you can always make it more intense if you need. I appreciate you watching, like, comment, subscribe, um, 
really looking forward to some comments. I'd like to see what people think about this. Cheers.